Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to create 3D text today using Maya. So let's get started. Uh, real simply, I'm going to come up to the Create menu, and I'm going to go down to Text, and then the Option box. Now, someone may have used this before you, so I would always get into a, I'd always recommend you to go to Edit and Reset the previous settings. So that'll that'll go back to the the default settings it's always a good thing to do that just in case someone had changed some of the settings before you uh, from here I'm gonna start simple I'm just gonna press the letter T for what you want to type so the field here is what you want to write and I'm gonna change the font to something more modern than a than a Times New Roman I'm, I'm gonna choose a, one that I downloaded off a website called Defont, defont.com I would recommend going there there's some great free fonts to use, and that one happens to be called Aldo the Apache. And I'm going to say OK, but you choose what you want. And if you want to see, here's a preview, so you can make that a little larger, and you can kind of see a little better. I'm going to keep it at normal, and I'm going to say OK. And then we have the type of extrusion that you want to make with this text. So I'm going to go over to the word bevel. And bevel, we have some options. The bevel width and the bevel depth that's that's how uh, how much roundness the edge has. Uh, the extrude distance is how far we want to extrude, how, how long the letter will be, how long the extrusion will be. So I'm going to make that a 2. I'm going to keep the bevel width and the bevel depth the same though. And I'm going to press apply. And you can see here we have a, a piece of text, my T. Now it has a little bit of roundness see there uh, with the bevel width and bevel depth uh, but I'm gonna delete this and, and let's uh, try something else how about I try convex out or convex in and I'm gonna say apply and now you can kinda see how this has convexed itself in and you can change you can create kind of a different type of bevel so I'll get rid of that let's just try one more uh, convex out and apply well, this one kind of looks the same as the first. Let's see if we scroll down a little bit more. We'll get rid of this convex side edge. Let's see what this does. Okay. Well, you can kind of see there are different options for this tool, depending on what you want to do with this rounded edge. Now, I may go back to straight out. I'm going to just go straight out. And I'm going to keep everything else the same and I'm going to press apply. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually type a word this time. So I'm going to type the word tutorial. <clears throat> and apply. Okay, so I'll close this out. And here it is. I don't think I need it this large. I'm going to scale it down. and I'll get back to object mode here and I'll move it over now what if you wanted to separate these letters a little bit they move as one they're one group well we can go to being sure that you're on the polygon drop-down we can go to mesh and then separate and when you separate now they select individually they could be moved but if you notice the the gizmo or the, the, uh, the handle has been moved all the way to the, the left side here and that's for every letter the the uh, pivot point is off so how do we reset that well if I select one of the letters I'm gonna go up to modify center pivot and I can do that for the rest of them Monta modify center pivot now if you don't want to keep on going up to modify drop down we can just press G which is the previous command and this is the I, G, G. Okay. So, because they're separated, now we can do a few things. What if I wanted to turn this hue a little bit and give this a little bit more interest? What if I wanted to rotate this one exactly 90 degrees? Well, I can do that too. That's 60. Uh, 
Okay. And now you can see this here. What if I wanted to combine these two shapes and keep the eye together? They're separate. We had separated them previously. I can hold shift and click both and go to mesh combine and then modify center that pivot. Okay. So now that I've given this a little bit more interest, let me just rotate a few more. Maybe this one will lean against the A. Okay. I'm going to create a seamless backdrop for my text. So this is how we do that. We're going to go into my side view, where I'm looking down the side of my letters. And I'm going to zoom out quite a bit. And I'm going to come up to Create EP Curve Tool. And I'm going to start, I'm going to be looking at this line going across. This is my x-axis. This is my y-axis. I'm going to click evenly a few points that go across. See, so spaced out pretty, pretty far. And as I get back here, I'm going to begin to bring my points up. Maybe zoom out and get the final one. But notice that they're all spaced evenly. And once you do that, press Enter. I'm going to move this over to here. And then I'm going to Apple D or Command D, Control D for PC users. And I'm going to duplicate that and move it over to the right. I'll then drag a big box and select both. We're going to go to our Surfaces drop-down. And I'm going to go to Surfaces Loft. And what this will create a seamless backdrop for us to render on. Now, if you notice, it's black but on the center here, but it's very gray here. It means the light is not hitting it. So in Maya 2015, we have to come up to Lighting and two-sided lighting and that will make that'll fix that issue okay I'll just quickly create some textures I'm just gonna go with some maybe some white Lamberts so let me set that up I think uh, if I wanted to change that, I made it a blend by mistake. I'm going to drop it down to Lambert. Okay. Now I'm going to take the rest of these. Okay. I'll just set up a good lighting situation here. Maybe we'll just go with a, a mental right and we'll look at just the physical sun and sky, just to be quick. So physical sun and sky, sky create. Close this out. I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna turn off my default light, the common tab. So close this out and let's render. Okay, a little bright. I'm going to change the direction of the light a little bit. There's our light. You can see the direction of the light, just straight up and down. There we'll move that to the side a bit. And maybe lower the intensity. Now let's try. Okay, I think you get the idea. This is how to create custom text, 3D text in Maya. Uh, give it a try. All right.